Who you voting for? Trump. Ah, oh, come on, bro. Harris thugs backwards, bro. What? Harris. Man, we not we not voting for that man. We just voted for Trump, man. Why? Man, we not with none of that, man. Chuck be looking out for the black community, man. We ain't we ain't doing nothing, yeah. man. I respect. Respect. You all good, my boy. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, folks? Man, we have less than two weeks to the end of this election. Yes, this is the fourth quarter, the two-minute drill. We are going to the stretch. And Kamala Harris decided to take the day off. The vice president taking a day off the campaign trail, meeting with her team and sitting for interviews with two weeks to go before Election Day. Yeah. Now, Donald Trump has called her lazy. And now I see why she decided to take the day off, guys. Uh, I was going to hit her really hard on the trail today, but now I don't have to because uh, she's off. She's off. <laughs> no, I can't get over it. Who the hell takes off? You have 14 days left, and she'll take a couple of more days off, too. You know why? She's lazy as hell, and she's got that reputation. She's a radical left lunatic. She's further left than Bernie Sanders or, or Pocahontas. Now, po She's not the only one. Timmy Sugarwalls said that he's exhausted. His feet hurt. Look, I, I know many people, if you say, I'm tired of this, um, trust me, I am, too. Um, we're fatigued. We're fatigued from it. Yeah. But Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump knows it. He got his eyes on his prize. He is going all the way, balls to the wall. He's not tired. He's getting two, three hours sleep. He's doing five, six events, and he's going all the way to the end. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon, and he's going all the way to the end. So while Miss Harris is resting, not to fear, guys. She got one of the top hip hop artists out here to endorse her. Yeah, Eminem. Detroit. What up, though? And that's funny. This Democrat party who like to call people misogynists and we're not going to vote for her because we hate women. We got Dougie Emhoff problem already. He likes to smack around his girlfriends his ex-wife, his nanny. He got that problem. But now you have the endorsement of Mr. White Rage himself, the Mr. Homophobic, misogynist Eminem is going to Detroit to introduce you. I also think that people shouldn't be afraid to express their opinions. And I don't think anyone wants an America where people are worried about retribution or what people will do if you make your opinion known. I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, I don't believe that Eminem is homophobic. I personally believe that he is gay. What? You don't believe me? Well, let's take a look at this clip here. M, let's just back it up a moment. You just said that you were gay? Um, and I'm just curious what you meant by that exactly. I mean, I'm gay. Uh, I'm just a little confused here because gay can mean a lot of things. I am a homosexual. Meaning? I like men. Yeah. It makes sense because he's so angry. He's an angry little white man. He's always rah, 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 women this. I'm going to kill this woman and homophobic this. Oh, my God. And I don't get you guys, you black men out there who keep putting Eminem as the best rapper out there. He's not my favorite. He's not even my top 20. Shit, he's not even my top 50. Now, the problem I have with Eminem is when he first came out into the scene, and he was dressed in drag. Plump those lips up. Mm, baby, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> like when Phil said this, like dress up is a really thing. I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think I really put much thought know. into it. Yeah. I'm keeping it gangster, homie. I'm keeping it gangster. I'm keeping it real. <clears throat> it's all about keeping it real. 
Okay, come on, man. Right, oh, wait, I gotta hold it, huh? Oh my God! I'm a girl! In our hip hop community, we're supposed to be masculine, right? And we give this guy a slide. Now imagine if Ice Cube or Jay Z walked around in a halter top, lipstick, and high heels. Y'all would chase him out of the industry. But Mr. Eminem, he gets a pass. Why? Because he's white. I'm gay. Hey, look, it's raining dicks. <laughs> See, I know some of y'all saying it was a skit and he's having fun and playing with our heads. We don't play with that game. Over here in the black community, the men, men, we don't play those games like that. You know? So I believe he's battling with inside demons. And that's why he's so angry and so mad. Now, before Donald Trump ran for president, just like other rappers, Eminem was swinging on Trump nuts. Pause. Please welcome the man most likely to post Eminem's bail, Donald Trump. Nice group. Nice group. Okay, listen, listen, listen. When the shady party called and told me there's going to be a convention, I said, it's got to be a really big one, and it's got to be right here in New York. Because this is the best city anywhere in the world, am I right? Of course I'm right. I'm always right. I'm Donald Trump. I'm always right. I know a winner when I see one. And Donald Trump is telling you right now, Slim Shady is a winner. He's got brains, he's got guts, and he's got Donald Trump's vote. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our great candidate, Slim Shady. You see? Mr. Trump went out his way and did something for Eminem. He didn't charge him. He just showed up, did a little cameo for him, did a little stunt speech for his project. But then all of a sudden, Eminem, I like to call him Feminem, he went straight bitch on him. He is straight having a hard on for Trump. Everything is Trump, Trump, Trump. He's worse than Kamala Harris. If you're talking about his core being you know, a majority white middle class. What I don't understand is how in the fuck do you feel like you relate to a billionaire who has never known struggle his entire fucking life? I will say this, he talks a good one. And so the Harris campaign can't get a strong black man to get the brothers to vote for Kamala. So they go out and get a misogynist they said I can't rap about being broke no more. They didn't say I can't rap about coke no more. Ah, slut. You think I won't choke no more till the vocal cords don't work in his throat no more? Ah, these motherfuckers are thinking I'm playing, thinking I'm saying this shit because I'm thinking it just to be saying it. Ah, Put your hands down, bitch. I ain't gonna shoot you. I'm gonna pull you to this bullet and put it through you. Ah, Shut up, slut. You're causing too much chaos. Just bend over and take it like a slut. Okay, ma? Oh, now he's raping his own mother, abusing a horse, snorting coke, and we gave him the Rolling Stone. Homophobic. Little gay looking boy, so gay I can barely say it with a straight face looking boy. Ooh, I'm the sovereign that you hear. Here. I'm the butt police, and I'm looking at you. Here, here, here. Strong white man, feminine, to come out and campaign for her. So he comes out and he introduces Obama. And here to tell you much more about that, President Barack Obama. You know, I, I have 
I've done a lot of rallies, so I don't usually get nervous. But I was feeling some kind of way following Eminem. And I notice my palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, vomit on my sweater already, mom's spaghetti. I'm nervous, but on the surface I look calm and ready to drop bombs, but I keep on forgetting. Oh my God. Talk about cringe. You got Obama rapping now. What the hell? Okay, Obama, you cool. You cool. You know how to rap. You know how to play basketball too, huh? Jesus Christ. Well, anyway, guys, we have two weeks left. If you're in Georgia, vote early, especially if you're MAGA. If you're for Kamala, don't care. Vote on Wednesday. Shit. <laughs> Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.